You're watching WFMZ TV 69 News Perks Edition, live at 5.30 with Rob Vaughn, Wendy Davis, Dan Mascartolo with sports, and meteorologist Ed Hanna with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Everything in here is edible. I'm Karen Millett on a one tank trip, and we'll show you where the houses look good enough to eat. You might be tempted to put a gingerbread house together for the holidays. It's an annual tradition that's turned into a competition in Bucks County. WFMZ's Karen Millett has more in tonight's one tank trip holiday edition. They almost look too pretty to eat, but you could take a bite if you wanted to. Everything you see is edible. The first thing that's done with the house is um, making the walls. So it's the cookie dough. So that's really was made in September or end of September, I would say. So that's, uh, you know, already about two months old. Probably a little stale by now, but what culinary creations? This is the annual gingerbread house competition and display at Peddler's Village in Bucks County. There are 63 entries packed inside the gazebo this year, and it really is a feast for the senses because not only do you get to notice all of the details when you look around, but when you step inside, it actually smells like gingerbread in here. It is heavenly. Each house has to be at least 50% gingerbread. So that's why the scent of the gingerbread for sure. Stay at home mom Lisa Viola knows the rules. Her recreation of the Peddler's Village Victorian gazebo and water wheel took first place in the 50th anniversary category. Not a cake decorator by trade, Lisa used to work in pharmaceuticals. She made her first gingerbread house seven years ago just for the family, realized she had a knack for the details and she's made one every year since. It's my creative outlet basically, my hobby for the year. For this year's blue ribbon winner, there's gingerbread, sugar cookie, little wheat thins for the stonework, the trees, upside down sugar cones. Icing is what holds it all together. You just have to use a whole lot of royal icing, you know, more than you think you need. There are Snoopy's, Ocean City's famous boardwalk pizza, mac and mango, and Philadelphia City Hall. It's just amazing the ideas that people have and how you know, you can make it out of food, basically. You know, it's like looking at food in a totally different light. Inspired to bake my own on a one tank trip to the gingerbread house display at Peddler's Village, Karen Millett, 69 News. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. I got, I got some wheat thins in the pantry. Maybe I could get cracking. Try that. Yeah. Probably, probably not. Round trip, Karen put 154 miles on her odometer. To see any of Karen's past one tank trips, just go to our website, wfmz.com, and click on the one tank trip link. You'll find it under the features tab.